Hey, what's going on, Pisces? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So, I'm pulling from the Moonology deck. Let's see what's going on in your world, Pisces. I hope you're doing well. Make sure you guys hit the like button. <clears throat> Thank you, Holy Spirit. Also, Pisces, flip your roles. Take what you need, leave what you do not need, and use the spirit of discernment as you are viewing this video. These messages are collective, and they are for entertainment purposes only. If you want your own personal reading, I do have a special going on right now where you can get um, one minute for $1. All you have to do is cash at me and make sure you send me an email with that cash app so that I can um, reply back basically to get your, get your question. All right, so thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guides, for showing up. This message for Pisces. A win-win outcome is in the forecast, Pisces. So I just seen one eleven on the timer, but something seems to be working out. Um, or could be working out in your favor, but I'm hearing also with a little compromise. So let me see. Um, Libra, full moon in Libra. So it says the full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, the cards suggest you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow. Perhaps come into an end or move into a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. So let go of that which is falling away. And it says additional meaning. See the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. It's time for you to focus on yourself for a while and look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time for a makeover. Okay. Um, yeah, so something here dealing with your partnership. So something could be coming to... Hmm, a forefront full circle here but however it goes it's still a win-win outcome okay so tell me more about that nine of pentacles comes out all right so this is i look at the nine of pentacles woman like someone who's very self-sufficient um single yeah you can you know buy your own things you're independent you know how that goes, right? But it's like you're still charting around some type of burden. Ten of Wands comes out with that. Some type of responsibility or burden. If it's in love, you could be burdened by something in that. Okay? If it's your finances, it could be like a financial strain or something, but... It's definitely something you should be releasing because it's keeping you stuck in the past with the Six of Cups or whoever that's connected to you, okay? Um, and so right now, as you know, it's about moving forward. Yeah, I got a King of Cups in reverse here. So you got somebody in your story. Um, it could be you. You know, the Cups are water signs. But um, it's somebody in your story who pretty much could be very overwhelmed, um, very cold in their energy, off balance. It's like, when it comes to their emotions, they're not balanced. They're not controlled in that, okay? Um, and the Hermit card comes out in the reverse position. So, so you have to seek truth and inner wisdom. So, this is the time to go within, right? This is the time for Pisces to go into Hermit mode. Because you're trying to manifest some things here. And you have to be open and eager and willing to learn some new things, right? To take on some new opportunities. Um, and that's what it just kind of feels like. It's like when it comes down to you starting on a new project, a new venture, a new relationship, an old relationship, whatever it is. It's like you have to be eager to 
learn some new things so that you can manifest the new, right? Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So if you embrace changes, then you'll start to see, hey, it's, this is some new stuff that's happening in my life now. I'm no longer repeating cycles. Okay, so really just try to envision your desires. All right, and then when you do that, you're allowing the universe to align with your intentions. Okay, so don't dwell in the past, Pisces. Only focus on creating a brighter future for yourself, right? On manifesting the new. But it's too much of someone being stuck in the past. And so when that happens, divine timing kicks in, right? Make a change. So you got to trust the process. You have to be very patient, Pisces, because some things take time to manifest fully in your life. It's not something that... Um, with this situation, and especially if other people are involved, that's going to just happen overnight, okay? So you're being asked again to be patient, to embrace uncertainty, and have faith in your journey, okay? That's unfolding before you. I know it's like, uh, what's happening? But as you're embracing your growth and seeking new paths and welcoming in transformation, then you're going to start seeing answers unfold in your life, okay? So keep an open mind, Um and trust this process most definitely Pisces but again like I said it may take a little bit of give and take but you still can have some type of win-win outcome with this situation with that give and take okay um the scales can balance and we're in Libra season too on top of that so what's the energy here of Pisces community card comes out okay so you may be in this point where, you know, you're ready to celebrate. You're ready to be connected to your tribe um, or you are, okay, your community. But the world card comes out. Even when it may come down to being in a relationship, if that's the case as well, you know, you may be wanting that. But the thing is, it's like there could be some self-limiting beliefs or mindsets or, or negative patterns or habits, 717, that could be interfering here with, you being able to have that. You it could be third party energy. You understand? It could be look, there's three women on that card. They take it how it resonates, okay? But however, with the world card in reverse again, you can't manifest what it is that you're desiring if you're in um if you're thinking from an old perspective, if you're not willing to try new things, if you're not willing to step out your comfort zone, okay, and, and learn new things and do things a little bit differently here, that's just basically what it's looking like, Pisces, all right? So, um, at the end of the day, you don't got to make no decisions or whatever because, you know, you got free will, <laughs> right? But at least take the time to go within, do some self-reflecting. I just seen 808 on the timer. Do some self-reflecting here and um, get in solitude, you know, because the answers that you're seeking are literally already there. All you got to do is tap in to receive the guidance that you need, which is going to come from you, Rose. Okay. All right. Thank you, Pisces. Hit the like button. Peace.